great opportunity. You know, it wasn't much. You couldn't find much opportunity like this, and apparently, it came my way. So, I'm not an ungrateful person. I take whatever comes my way. I just kept my head high, you know, keep my head above water. So right now, I'm happy where I'm at today. We're on location today. We're in Yonkers, New York, in an absolutely beautiful myelin design building housing the Greystone Bakery. Greystone Bakery is part of the famous Greystone Foundation. What is the Greystone Foundation? It's a foundation that was founded on Zen principles, to do good, to do good in mind, body, and spirit for other human beings. And that's what this bakery does. And it employs many people in the Yonkers area, uh, basically to help get their lives back on track, to give them some stable employment, and to get involved and generate funds for very worthy causes. And some of these worthy causes, in essence, as part of the foundation, are enterprise development, building a socially responsible business. Grayston provides services for people with HIV AIDS and does everything possible to help this segment of our population. Grayston has a home development real estate projects. They have over 200 homes that they have built and they're working on rental properties, all sorts of developments to help low-income families get the housing that they need. They work very hard in family self-sufficiency services, including youth services and child care centers, and helping people to help themselves. We like to say that um, we don't you know, hire people to make brownies. We make brownies so that we can hire people, yeah. and so that we can provide them an opportunity for growth and uh, renewal and change in their life as they see their life moving forward. I came to Grayson as a on public assistance. When I came to Grayson to fill out the application, they made me feel, you know, wanted and welcome. So I filled out the application and they hired me. My whole career has prepared me mm -hmm. to take on this organization's leadership and to really move it forward into the future. And, uh, and you're right, one of the, our key parts of what we're trying to do is prepare people to improve themselves. We teach them about work readiness, how to, one, that's how to get a job, mm -hmm. how to keep a job, how to dress for success. Mm -hmm. If they don't have their GED, we help them get their GED. When there was other jobs that didn't want me, Grayson had took me, and I'm glad they see what kind of work I can put down for them. It's, it's meant a lot for me working at the bakery. I don't miss no days of work. If I like to do something outside of working in the bakery, if I like it, I'm going to do it. So I like working in the bakery. That's why I like coming to work. I would never imagine me um, going to school to study for my CDA and for me to even be a teacher. <laughs> Staff that I'm working with, they have a passion for developing young children and their families. A passion, they're committed and they're dedicated. It would be good if we had more money for, <laughs> for teachers. You like that? Yes. Huh? <laughs>